<laughs> We're just about to one phase this one. Hopefully. The only cool, like, piece of loot is the vinyl that you get for doing the challenge of value so far. And it's not even, like, that cool, but it's pretty badass, in my opinion. Yeah, we're definitely gonna win these. Now stay under the boss and you can get double loot. Double loot. Bam. It'll give you, if you did it correctly. No type of guy, that's why I showed you guys the video of me doing actual damage. And I showed you guys one of the Interceptor and a little bit of the Colossus. The reason why I threw the Colossus one in there is just to show you guys that it's kind of global. You can do this on any Javelin. Um, you just have to understand how damage works in this game and understand what you're aiming for. And I know there's a lot of people out there playing a the game without aim. And I'm going to try to give that to you guys. I know some of you guys are doing good on GM and that's what this video is about. It's the most relevant game mode right now, right? So that's where everyone's at. That's where we're farming. And I know some of you guys are doing good. I'm going to help you do great, right? So here we have two weapons here. And as you can see, I have 100% damage on this one. And then I have 175% damage on this one. Now, this one also has um, Javelin Shear damage, um, about 7%. Um, just pure out damage that goes to any other weapon on my javelin and then 18% um, physical so Stats like that are really good. You want to stack those type of things up because they do help your other weapons and This one has like a 5% ice. It really doesn't matter But what I'm trying to show you guys is I'll show you guys most of my weapon 125% um, damage on this weapon 100% on this weapon. So you kind of get kind of understand the gist of this 175 on this elemental rage right here You know, this one doesn't really have much but I haven't unlocked the crafting yet for this weapon because I, I really don't care about it um, uh, Over 100% damage on this weapon 175% on this weapon You know and it gets goes on 100% on this weapon and 100% is kind of like the standard right now so if you have a weapon and it doesn't have at least over 100% damage on it, it's kind of garbage. And the only reason you want it is to unlock blueprints to be able to craft it so you can have a chance of making better ones, right? So I'm showing you guys this stuff is because this is how you do damage. And as you can see, this um, item right here has weapon damage on it as well, 20%. So that's going to carry over to my weapon. So I basically use most of my systems and stuff like that for... Um, just stack sticks to be honest with you and utility um this one's good because it has two charges on it and it hits multiple mobs it's really good for like melee but it's not really about the bill i'm just really showing you guys that everything i have on it has some type of damage that helps somewhere so this one has 21 percent raw damage this actually goes to my actual weapons as well and this is how it's done like this is how i choose my stuff and for components and stuff like that I have actually increased weapon damage, increased weapon damage. So both of these 25%, 25%, that's 50%. And I have this to increase magazine size. And also when I'm collecting ammo, I do 40% more damage. I have double edge inscription, increase all damage dealt by 35% of base and damage taken um, by minus 35%, which is really good. This right here, increase all damage um, dealt by 50%. This is why the interceptor is so good because he can actually get his hands on so much damage. So this right here, remember when I told you that my gear was for utility? So when my gear hits um, two things, it increases all damage by 30%. This is pretty much icing on top of the cake because we don't have um, masterwork components that we can craft right now to be able to get better ones. But this is like just, uh, just something in the meantime, right? So then we have, let's see, we have 
over 100% on each weapon. So basically what you're going to be doing is finding a weapon that you absolutely love. Because trust me, I've tried out so many weapons and I, I've deleted a lot of weapons as well. Just because we have a lack of space space, and I really don't have room to just like hold on to everything. So I'm just like purely trying things out, keeping things for certain builds. Like this sniper rifle right here, it doesn't have um any damage on it but what it does have is a crap load of speed for my um left mouth button ability so i use it on certain characters like storms and stuff like that just to spam abilities right but let me go over and show you guys my colossus and this is the colossus that was in the video and you'll see that i have this is don't worry about this weapon i just got this weapon i'm just trying to figure out what the hell it hell it does see if it was any good or whatever i think it's bugged i think most of the grenade launches except for the one that sticks that actually shoots like sticky grenades or whatever are pretty garbage i don't really understand why or what's going on with them but here's my weapon main weapon right here it is an endless siege which i believe is one of the best auto cannons for colossus and you want to get over 100 percent damage this one as you can see i got lucky and i got 150 percent damage on it making it just an absolute beast of a monster but let's actually go into the components and see if things ring true here so here i have best defense and the main reason i have best defense on this character is just for the survivability it's a big slow frame a big slow javelin so you're gonna get hit a lot regardless right so you i just need this you know otherwise i will be running one of these for more damage or something like that let me see if any of them even have it on there harvest bonus no none of these even have good weapon damage so i don't really have that yet but that's what i'm working for i'm working to get a best defense with some global damage on it um and that would be really dope and as for components this component right here is probably the most important component for the colossus and as you can see on it i have auto cannon damage plus 15 percent um combo plus 15 percent targets which is absolutely awesome this this is i can't wait to be able to craft masterwork version because i'll definitely pump this up but this this right here is how he gets so much damage with the auto cannon and mind you none of the damage that you saw in the video earlier was with any type of like consumables so i could actually get to about seven seven thousand a hit or something like that with consumables but what you really want to aim for and I know it's very rare, but you want to aim to get stuff like critical damage on your components. And there are some components that give you critical damage. And I think those are kind of like best in slot as far as damage is concerned. But right now we're, we're very limited on components. Okay, so let me explain another thing about how damage works. Now there's two different types of damage in the game. There's physical damage and then there's elemental damage, right? And I'm saying this because I'm trying to like, you know, dumb it down for some people out there, okay? Understand that impact damage is physical damage, right? And then you have weapon things that have like diamonds next to it. So like say this right here, black powder, it has a diamond next to it. Where the hell's my mouse at? There's my mouse. So as you can see the diamond right here, this means that it's physical damage right so all physical damage will increase this physical damage will also increase blast damage if the blast damage is not at elemental damage because blast damage can be um elemental as well so say if you had something like this that caused like an explosion or something like that a lightning explosion um that's considered a elemental blast so anything that says like a large fire explosion or a large electric explosion or something like that um blast will actually contribute to that um now also acid is not uh, elemental acid is not element acid is physical so any physical increases towards anything it does like say this right here this um this stupid flamethrower that got 225 percent damage towards this item is completely useless it's actually garbage i want to salvage it but i think I'm, I'm scared that they're when I throw my legendaries away, they're going to come out with some type of weird re-roll just for legendaries. So I've just been kind of holding on to it. And as you can see, it also has 
this black powder has gear damage on it. Gear damage is absolutely awesome because what this means is if this item did like multiple types of damage, say like it doesn't matter what type of damage it is, gear damage is just going to be peer out gear damage to this item. So if it did like blast and physical, it would it would probably overlap. So that's really cool. But the idea is you can't have all masterwork components because a lot of these things don't actually help you. And, and that kind of sucks. Like this one right here, when effect is cleared. So basically if you get like any type of, you know, if you get set on fire or something like that, once it's cleared, you get 20% damage. I mean, this is cool because it's 10 seconds, but once they give you like five second things like this right here, this is for your systems. Um, I don't really use it. There's really no use for this. I wish I could craft something else to put here instead, but I just don't have anything better. And that kind of sucks. And that's why the classes, the Colossus actually lacks versus a lot of other classes. So the Ranger can actually have a lot of stuff like this right here, like the special um, arms ammo. The Ranger has like a bunch of stuff like that, increased weapon damage and all, all sorts of shit. And those are what you want to stack. But this one right here is perfect because it gives you 15% damage plus the 30% damage. So that's 45% damage I'm getting off of this just alone for my auto cannon which is absolutely crazy right stuff like this combo damage i mean it's okay but i'm i like weapons and stuff so i use weapons but that's pretty much how you stack damage guys that's a, that's how you do damage all right and as you can see i'm 477 i'm not like 500 or legendary on this character and this is the same colossus that you actually see it in the video we didn't actually get to kill the spider on the first go around but it's whatever Peace out, guys. This has been King Vox. And if you have any more questions that I forgot, I'm not, you know, it's hard. I'm not going to answer every single question in a single video. But if you comment down below, I'll be sure to reply to you or whatever with the best of my knowledge or send you somewhere or whatever where you can get the information that you're looking for. So have a blessed day. Peace out.